My name is Wendell Griffin, and I'd like to welcome you to New Millennium Church and the video that describes who we are in our first year together as a congregation. In doing so, I'd like to explain something. Part of what being followers of Jesus Christ means involves learning and living together. Learning and living about life, learning and living about relationships, learning and living about faith, learning and living for God together. That's what New Millennium Church is about. That's what we have celebrated in our first year together. That is what we embrace as a congregation. And that is what we hope to be in the world. A people learning and living together so that the kingdom of heaven would become real on earth, in our place, in our time, for God. Thanks for watching the video. In the spring of 2009, a group of people who were members of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Little Rock began prayerfully meeting, praying, and studying the Bible together as they were inspired to follow Jesus Christ in a new way. That house prayer and study group eventually decided to organize into a congregation that would be welcoming, inclusive, and progressive-minded. With help from Dr. Ray Higgins, coordinator of Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of Arkansas, the group met with lay leaders from Lakeshore Drive Baptist Church in Little Rock and discussed sharing the Lakeshore facilities at 21 Lakeshore Drive. At an organizational meeting on May 27, 2009, the 12 charter members agreed on the name New Millennium Church, chose Reverend Wendell Griffin as its pastor, and agreed to hold its first public service at Lakeshore Baptist Church on May 31, 2009. From that start, New Millennium Church has grown spiritually, numerically, and missionally. We do not merely share facilities with Lakeshore Drive Baptist Church, but rejoice that the Holy Spirit has blessed us to become partners in ministry. With Lakeshore, New Millennium has participated in the food pantry for hungry and homeless persons. We shared in the 50th anniversary celebration of Lakeshore in June 2009. Our congregation shared in the hanging of the grain and watch night services later that year, along with New Disciple Church, a third fellowship that uses the Lakeshore facilities and our congregations experienced joys and sorrows together, prayed together during times of sickness and distress, and grew closer during fellowship meals, church cleanup projects, and in many other ways. From our first worship service on May 31st, 2009, we have been amazed at how the Holy Spirit has worked on with and through us. People began attending the 9 o'clock a.m. worship services from the beginning. Cindy Boyles, the Lakeshore musician, was with New Millennium from the start and has been joined by Barbara Hill, Elliot Griffin, and Levante Pettigrew. At New Millennium, we are as likely to greet each other with hugs as with handshakes. And each Sunday morning, we affirm our oneness and purpose by saying these words together. We praise and worship God together. We petition God together. We, we proclaim, proclaim God, God together. together. We welcome all persons in God's love together. We live for God in every breath and heartbeat by the power of the Holy Spirit as followers of Jesus Christ together. Amen. Our worship service begins at nine o'clock a.m. Sunday school starts at 10.30 a.m. We want to be the presence of God in this community, a missional church, meaning that we are committed to serving the community and those who are in proximity, as well as those who by outreach can benefit and grow in the love of God, the church and unchurched. Bible study at New Millennium or Sunday school is vibrant engaging and untraditional. From the beginning, we have studied the Bible together in ways that affirm the entire human experience. That approach has led us to also examine what following Jesus means by reading classic and current works about Christian living. 
We began with Howard Thurman's powerful examination of the life and ministry of Jesus Christ titled, Jesus and the Disinherited. Afterwards, we shared a challenging look at race relations in ministry with Second Baptist Church by reading Grace Matters by Chris Rice. New Millennium then examined Dan Sutherland's Transitioning, which deals with how a congregation can shift from being program-driven to being ministry-minded and activated. The Holy Spirit really stretched our thinking and notions of following Jesus as we studied Velvet Elvis by Rob Bell during the late winter of 2010. Spring and our first anniversary finds New Millennium beginning a study of It's Time, a cooperative Baptist fellowship journey toward missional faithfulness. This will strengthen, guide, and prepare us individually and corporately to let the love of God flow through our outreach ministries into the world. We believe that following Jesus involves entering relationships with people and navigating life with them in the power of the Holy Spirit. In that context, we thank God for our relationships with Lakeshore Drive Baptist Church, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship of Arkansas, Second Baptist Church, New Disciple Church, and Bell Elementary School. Those relationships have led our congregation to contribute money and other resources to Arkansas Baptist College, Taste of Compassion AIDS Ministry, the Haiti Earthquake Relief Effort, and Bell Elementary School. Above all, we are glad to be part of the powerful work of the Holy Spirit as we make God's vision of grace and truth come alive through Jesus Christ. We are glad to be part of that healing and comforting and proclaiming work. We're glad to be part of affirming our Baptist tradition while at the same time recognizing that the grace and truth of God is not limited to any denominational tradition or boundary. We are part of God's grace and truth. We are part of that grace and truth together with people who worship differently, who worship under different names, who worship God and follow Jesus Christ in different places. Above all, we're glad to be part of that grace and truth of God as we follow Jesus Christ as part of a great communion of fellowship, trying to make the grace and truth of heaven come alive on earth through our relationships that we share, through our living in this place and this time. Amen. Yes.